Now, the tech giant Apple has issued a fix for a serious security flaw on its Mac computers. The glitch, which came to light several days ago, allowed hackers to intercept things like email and other data. The update comes after a similar problem was fixed for Apple's mobile devices last week. Let's talk now to Will O'Neill, the editor-in-chief of the website Tech Radar in San Francisco. Hi, Will. It's good to see you. Um, How's just it going? I'm not too bad, man. I'm not too bad. Just explain what the problem was here. Okay, so uh, I guess um, in a nutshell, there was basically some, I guess we would call it bad code, in the form of some missing validation steps on both Mac computers and iOS devices that left users open to hackers when they were submitting information through um, SSL encrypted websites that are that are usually thought to be pretty secure. Things like email, um, banking, uh, and e-commerce sites and things like that. Okay, and they reckon they've fixed it now, do they? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So um, Apple actually, they released uh, several patches for OS X for uh, your Mac computers. They released a new patch, 10.9.2, that, that fixes the same bug. So this bug actually, it came about last week on, I, on iOS devices like the iPhone and the iPad. And they actually, uh, they released a fix for that as well. And I, the thing about this particular fix that was interesting is that they, they sort of uh, um, announced that this hole existed before they announced the fix. So a lot of users out there that are using iPhones, iPads, and, or last week, and then and, and Mac OS um, uh, desktops and laptops are thinking, okay, so you, now you just told the world about this hole, and there's no fix. So now we're all waiting for this fix, and that, that's sort of the scuttlebutt that people are kind of upset about. I, I, indeed. Um, so. Let's just be clear for all those Mac users out there, and I'm one of them, <laughs> and uh, a lot yes. of the people here in our team, do they have something to worry about now about their okay. data? Uh, well, well, so first off, everyone that out there that's using a Mac or an iOS device, like an iPhone, I actually use an iPhone, I have a, an iPad mini, uh, um, go out right now and, and update your OS. So do that first and foremost. And the thing is, we haven't, at TechRadar, we haven't actually heard of any accounts of people's security being affected or anyone's data being stolen, which is sort of the fortunate thing for not only end users like you and me, but also for Apple itself. Because, you know, just recently, you know, uh, Tim Cook vowed that Apple was going to be super secure and, and, and safe. And then this happens. It kind of, I, I guess his exact quote was that they were going to double down on, on, on security products and things. And I, I think that right now, if you use an iOS or a Mac OS product, as long as you go out and you use this, this update and you, and you update your software, you should be fine. But it kind of, the, the overall problem that this brings up is that it kind of, it makes people feel a little bit less secure mm. and sure about their products. Because one of the things that Apple has going for it is the fact that their stuff is known to be secure. And you, you turn it on and it works. And this is sort of an example of it not being secure you turning it on and it's not working the way that it should. So it's kind of a, a black eye to the company in that regard. Indeed. Okay, Will, it's good to see you. Will O'Neill there from a tech radar in San Francisco. Thanks, Will.